Welcome to another episode of the Perfue Quick Start series. Today I would like to show you a new concept in the Perfue data map, the domains. Let's see what they are. If you have watched my videos or anything else, well, you know about the concept of collections in the Perfue account. You can structure your Perfue account using collections and sub-collections. As you can see here, you can create different levels. You can uh, group those as you want. And those collections are a logical grouping of artifacts in Perfue. They are also the permission boundary. As you can see here, you can define permission levels. You can inherit, you can break inheritance over here, and you can assign the sources, the data assets to your collections. Uh, a little bit has changed in the last year. Initially, we had within one tenant the ability to create multiple Perfue accounts. So I think the uh, default uh, number was four and we could create more Perfue accounts than a single one. Within the last few months, it changed so that there is a new approach. We've got one Perfue account per tenant. So it, it moved and you can migrate all your tenants or your Perfue accounts into your single Perfue tenant account. And uh, with the domains, the structure itself changed because we had our initial Perfue account and then we had our collections and glossaries. But with the merging into one single tenant account, well, Microsoft introduced now a new level, which is called the domains. Whenever you had one single tenant Perfue account, you were merged into that account and there's a default domain, that one. That one exists and the screen, the picture you see here, the graph, that one is the future understanding of domains. Currently, it's only that you've got one default domain and you can't create other domains. But the idea is to create different domains and also have a separate grouping of permissions at the domain level. In my account, I've got a tenant level Perfue account and I also see the domains in my data map uh, menu. I've got my domain, which is the name of my Perfue account, and I've got all the collections that have been there before. You see the overview over here. You can change to the role assignment that at the domain level, you've got only the option to assign domain administrators over here. So domain administrators can create collections under the domain and also assign other domain admins to that one. So what is assigned and stored where? We've got the tenant level, the domain level and the collection level, and we've got different artifacts like classifications, data assets, we've got our scans, we've got scan rule sets. So where are they put? I've got put it, uh, I've, I've got it on my slide here. Classifications, meta model, managed attributes, the lineage information, integration runtimes, networking, private endpoints, workflows and insights they are assigned and stored at the tenant level over here. On the domain level, we've got the credentials to connect to data sources, term templates, custom scan rule sets, pattern rules, policies, and we can also save assets over there. And at the collection level, the lowest level so far, it's where we can assign data sources, scans, and data asset at that level. It's Another level of, of grouping your data assets, your data artifacts in your Perfect account. And what's the current state of December 2023? There's only one domain. That's the default domain that exists. And if you have got your Perfect tenant account, it's migrated. So all the, the collections that existed are migrated into your default uh, domain. Um, in December 2023, there's only one domain per tenant. You can't create more. The future, as the documentation states, there will be more. And uh, that's the new thing, which is called domains. Another level to group your data in your Perfue data map. More to come. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Thank you.